Yo, what up, YouTube? What up, Rap Music Forms? Today, we're going to talk about the quote-unquote Cali bias and racism in battles. Um, the one kind of segues into the other. So, let's get it started. I just woke up from a nap, nigga. I'm all refreshed. My girl about to call. So, I'm a little happy right now. But, alright, Cali bias. Do I think there's a Fresh Coast bias? Yes, I do. I, I, and you know what? I think there's a, I think there's a Fresh Coast bias. And I don't think it's bias, though. I think we use bias, the term bias we use, use loosely. I think it's something we all do, and it's called looking out for our own. While the Fresh Coast scene is hella competitive, you know, you know, when it comes to Fresh Coast versus everybody else. They look out for their own 10, 100 million percent. And that's something we all do as, you know, just people. Not just the rap. Like, um, what's the way to explain this? I'm from North Carolina. At North Carolina, you are, you're a college hoops fan and you're a fan of your school. And that's it. You don't like other schools. Like, fuck Duke. Fuck UNC. You know, I'm an NC State fan. But, you know, UNC in the final, they they from North Carolina, so they're going to be my team regardless. It's looking out for your own, period. I think that's how Cali is. It's like, we're better than all you motherfuckers. Yeah, we are. You know, and regardless, you know, if we get out rapped that day, yeah, but it's going to take a lot to impress me to think you got out rapped. So, you know, while on the outside looking in, it's like, damn, he beat him. But, you know, to maybe to a Cali, maybe to a Cali dude, you know, where if we think damn he just edged them out he was like damn it wasn't it wasn't enough it's, it wasn't enough because you know they've seen so many battles that they aren't impressed by an edge like you have to make it a clear cut victory and i think that's where we get a little confused so i don't think it's any intentional bias you know i don't think the the cali sitting around thinking like we're not gonna let those motherfuckers win in our house no nah, i don't think it's none of that shit you know and i respect lush one because lush one is putting in work Man, that motherfucker is the Ted Turner of motherfucking grind time. That motherfucker is Eric Bischoff and niggas, yo. He's recruiting niggas from other states and shit. This is my girl. Pause. Hey, babe. Hey, babe. Hey, babe, babe, babe. Um, I'm going to call you right back. Huh? All right, I will. All right, babe. I'll go. I will, babe. All right, babe. That was the girl. That was the girl. Anyway, so that's why I think, and you know, Lush is putting in fucking work, you know, to make sure we have the best battles from Cali, you know. And you know he's so tough on his, you know he's so tough on his own dudes. No wonder you know when he says some shit about somebody else, and it's not like, it's not to be like we're better than you. Even though I'm sure he sincerely thinks he's better than them, and he has every right to think that. It's because he wants to see everybody get better in grind time. He wants to see Florida cats on West Coast level, you know. But they're not dead. They're not there yet. And you know that's obvious, and that's made he made that very clear. Well, you know, they've made that very clear with their just their battles, you know. You know, like, and that's just the way it is. Even with, you know, a Florida person like Madness living out on the Fresh Coast, you know, you know, it just seems like Madness is, you know, gone retarded, you know, and just started, yeah, you see. But with all of that aside, that's what's going on. And, you know, since we're talking about Kyle's Best, you talk about the source. The Saurus is a motherfucking animal. That nigga's a beast. Nigga's a beast? That nigga is a beast. And we talking about racism and battles or whatever. Look, all right, the way hip-hop started is that hip-hop was an all-inclusive culture. And, and you know, it, you no matter what you were, you were white, black, Latino, woman, homosexual. When they, back in like the 70s, when they would hook this, when they would, would they would hook the speakers up, to the, from the to the jack in the street light, 
and you know and have those block parties and then no matter what you were everybody was in it was you know it, it was the counter the discos which were so in exclusive so you know but main performers you know the main the 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 the, the main the b-boys and d-days were mainly hispanic and the rappers the mcs were mainly black so there was you know when mc battles started to come into play there was no like racial tip now hip-hop being the all-inclusive culture that it is other people have obviously jumped in and you know in a battle a battle you know has changed over the time like it used to be how quick you were with your freestyle ability and be like I'm this you're not da 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 because you know it was all about coming up here off the top of the head it's now changed to how well you write how well you focus how well you prepare and how well you capture the moment in the crowd and complete degradation and destruction of your opponents moral structure about how they feel about themselves so make make them feel like they don't ever want to battle again like ever and you know what I think is this you either should have it all you should have it all motherfucking um everything in like no matter what you know sans a white person calling like his nigga like obviously but you know you have it all in or you should just make it you know you should just cut it all out and obviously if you cut it all out it's not gonna be a good battle it's gonna be polite as fuck we'll start hip hop's gonna drop your shit da, 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 da. so you know you know what people are telling you he's winning by racism no he's not winning by racism he's winning because he's lyrics are better than the other dudes and it just so happened the way he went was racism that's just the route he used and you know what the shit was funny as fuck you know when my said that shit about D-Lore son that hurt my fucking soul so bad but them were those last like six to eight bars were so fucking crucial that you know you couldn't say shit they hit me on point of course if somebody in a regular setting be like you can't be black. You have perfect credit and work for a living. Such some shit like that. I'd be thoroughly insulted. Probably, probably enough to fight. Somebody called me a Uncle Tom in regular life. I'd bust their ass. Like, I don't play that shit. But, in a rap battle, anything goes. If I get called to Uncle Tom, oh well. You know, you just gotta find a way to flip it. Gotta find a way to make it good. And you know what? Dealer really didn't flip that. I mean, people are talking about, well, it's obvious he's black. Well, you know what? He should have fucking flipped it. He should have said something. Because in the cypher, Mosh owned d -Lord that third round. You know, and that third round is the last thing. I don't care what nobody says. People are talking about two rounds to one. That third round is literally worth two rounds. Because that is the last thing judges hear. And if you beast out on that third round well enough, that can swing the edge of the battle. I'm um, so... That's what I feel. And I don't feel like racism, people talking about, oh, he was being racist. I hate them. Like, talk about 9DM. 9DM, you know what? Yeah, he's used racism in his battles. And it's worked sometimes, and it worked, ha and it hasn't worked sometimes. And you know what? He really, he, he beat a absidy. He beat absidy without really using racism. So, like, it is what it is. You know? So I there that's my opinion on it, and you know I would love to hear feedback about everybody from rap music. You know I know motherfuckers are gonna say some shit that has nothing to do with this, gonna crack at me. Fuck y'all niggas, fuck y'all niggas. Hey, guess what? Fuck y'all niggas. So shout out to Blaze One, keeping keeping that keeping that um that Dallas fever alive. Oak Cliff is my hood. You dig? Else.